This week's Time Magazine cover story is proof enough that if you want to know the truth about Islam, don't go to Rome. Go to Bethlehem instead. I recently listened to a series of CDs, lectures given by the late Dr. Robert Darnell, a member of our community of faith, an expert in Islamic studies, an anthropologist, in which he carefully chronicled how, in fact, the Quran teaches the seeds of every divine truth that you and I embrace. The seeds are all there. It was uh, Darnell's lifetime mis mission and conviction to cultivate those seeds in dialogue with the children of the East. And in an hour of history, when the West is turning against those children, ought we not to be the first to raise up our voices in their behalf? Think. Why shouldn't we? For what if... And by the way, the story of Christmas would hardly let us do otherwise, would it? What if the Spirit, the mighty Spirit of Allah... By the way, I got some letters from viewers after that last teaching. And one viewer said, Don't you know that the, that the name Allah is a name for Lucifer? Oh, I hope you never, I hope you never, 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 never embrace that. Allah, listen carefully now. Allah is closer to Elohim the Hebrew name for God, then is our English word God. In fact, hold on to your seats. The English name God is a Nordic pagan God. We've taken a pagan God's name and we said, that's the name of our God. And we all call him God. That's a pagan. It's a Nordic pagan myth. So don't you ever get pushed into the corner where you're saying, Allah is a demonic name. Allah is the name of the living God. Allah is the creator of the universe. Allah is the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Ishmael, Jethro, Job, and even Balaam.